everyone. As you can tell, I am so ready for Halloween. Okay, so I'm a little late to the party, um, but I decided to go ahead and deck out my planner for the month of October. So I basically went all um, Halloween themed here with all my paper clips and my um, bookmarks and so forth. And this rosette trim here, this rosette trim, this rosette, this uh, paper rosette, I actually turned it into a paper clip. And I will show you guys here in a little bit. So I just wanted to do a flip through of, I have not done any planning in my planner for the week of October. Um, any of the weeks, hopefully I can get, as you can see, I've got the Walking Dead starts this week. So definitely going to be putting that in there. But I did plan October's, um, I did do a plan with me video for October. Um, I don't know if you guys already seen that because I don't know if I'm going to upload it before I upload this one or vice versa. But anyway, uh, this is a sticker. And I actually got this from an Etsy shop. You can order the um, digital images. So I ordered the digital images and I turned it into a sticker and I stuck it onto this um, white web, web uh, white and gold web paper, sorry, um, to match my gold rings here. And I really like the way it turned out. And that's from the Recollections uh, 12 by 12 paper pad that I bought the other day. And then these are some ephemera pieces that I had. They come with a whole bunch of different kinds of ephemera pieces. As you can see, I still have another one here. Um, and it's basically just as spooky on there. So I put that on and then it also came with these two ephemera pieces too. This is like a little um, spell book. And then it, the little circle that says October 31st and it was a tag, but I cut the little tag off and I just stuck it down and I laminated it and laminated, not elaminated it. Um, I laminated it. And so here is one of my uh, Walking Dead themed lawn fawn cars that I created, oh sorry, y'all can't even see that, uh, that I created and basically it's a paper clip and I put some felt on the back and that's a great idea. If you guys have the Lawn Fawn dies that go with the stamps, it's so super easy. You just run it through with the felt. You run your stamp, um, your die cut through on top of the felt and then you glue it down and I mean it looks really good. It comes out really good and it covers the whole back piece also. So really good quality if you decide to do that. And it's super easy, especially if you already have the die cut for it. Um, so here's one of my bookmarks that I created. And this was actually from a Simple Stories, I believe, paper collection, I'm not sure, from last year. And I got this from My Style Stamps. She was doing the Project Life kits and Project Lifestyle kits and I had been on her design team. And uh, again, that is uh, Nicole Kerr, if you guys do not know, and she is mystylestamps.com. You can go and order a bunch of her stamps and stuff. But I had gotten this in that kit and I decided to turn it into a bookmark. And then I did another rosette and I cut it out with a one inch circle die cut. I cut felt out and I glued it on the back because I just like the way that that looks. I think it looks super cute. So that's one bookmark there. And this is basically a, a stopping ground to like my um, stickers and stuff in my little folder. I haven't done a Halloween folder yet, but I am going to be doing one and I am going to be sharing how I do these on on here. I'm going to be doing a video sharing how I made that make that Halloween one. So and I this one's yellow, so I guess it's kind of Halloweeny. I don't know. And then here is another paper clip and these I just got these. These were from Jessica and she sent me a whole ton of these. And I couldn't find my pliers to take this little um, stick pin off. So this pin off. So what I did was I just stuck. Let me see if I have one here and I'll show you. I just basically put hot glue. I stuck this down right here and then I cut out a little circle felt and I put the felt over it. And I mean, it's perfectly fine if you want to turn it into a paper clip. And so I really, really like that one. And I have another one that I did. Let me share with you guys. I have two more that I created. This one here was given to me last year, this rosette. So I created it into a paper clip and then here's the other one. This is Witch's Brew, but I just have way too many paper clips on here already. So I'm gonna use this for one of my other planners. And excuse my hands, I was playing around with some of my crafting stuff. So then, there's a piece that does not go. This is my August, this is my October. And, oh, this tassel keeps coming off. I think I'm just going to keep it off. This little thing right here is not the best. Um, this little closure, not the best. So I have had this die cut for a long time. I've been hoarding it and hoarding it. And I finally decided to turn it into a bookmark. I think it's perfect. I love the way it looks. I love how tall it is. 
And then with the little tassel, it looks really cute, but this tassel just does not want to cooperate. So I'm going to take it off before I lose it. And then I just was running some confetti and stuff that I had made through my laminator to use up some of those spare lam um, uh, sheets, laminate sheets. And so I just stuck it in here too, just because. And here is the other Walking Dead paper clip that I created using the Lawn Fawn die and stamp. And you see, this one's a zebra print. Uh, felt on the back so I just put felt on the back so that that way it could hopefully last longer and then this is going to be my October spread which if you guys probably just saw the video on this and this is what my October spread looks like and I used a lot of Tim Burton um Nightmare Before Christmas sticker well I only used two these also came with the sticker sh uh the clip art that I ordered from Etsy it was like a whole set of I think 10 for four dollars so not bad and then um here's this little guy here that i got off of the internet and then some stickers and some washi and very plain i didn't do so much to it i really like the way it turned out though and then hopefully i will be back to plan in my weekly spread plan my weekly spread so yeah thank you all guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more of these videos let me know um also if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and i will try to get back to you guys so yeah thank you all so much for watching talk to y'all later bye bye oh my gosh y'all can see my belly in the video wow because <laughs> i lean like this like oh my god that's so crazy so excuse the belly hopefully i can like I don't know, erase it maybe. It would be so wonderful if you could just erase your belly. That'd be cool. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, you'd see, look, there it goes again. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.